Welcome to the special broadcast. This is the 10 meter air pistol women's qualification match, which has just started. India being represented by two of the best shooting stars, Yashaswini Singh Deswal, the current world number one, and the very popular Manu Bhakar, who's currently ranked number two in the world. It's a very strong field of 57 shooters. Germany's Monica in the lead after the first four shots. Manu Bhakar shoots two consecutive tens at the third position right now. This is the early stage of the 10 meter air pistol women's qualification at Tokyo Olympics. Let's have a look at Yashaswini Singh Deswal's score. A very strong field, 57 shooters in total. Yesha Suni Singh Deswal, a little shaky start for her at number 41 after the first two shots. American shooter Alexis Lagan at 45 with a similar score as Yesha Suni Singh. A very strong field. French shooter Celine Gobeville at number 21 after her first four shots. Ukraine's Olina Kosovich at number five with two shots. On 10, Manu Bhakar loses a point, shoots a 9, slips down to 11 now. Rostamyan of Iran in the lead with 5 shots on 10, followed by Germany's Monica, who's also shot five consecutive tens. As the match begins, we are hearing a lot of cheering. It's very early here in India, 5.36 a.m. Fans are already up to witness two of their top shooting stars, Yasha Suni Singh Deswal and Manu Bhakar, in women's 10 meter air pistol qualification. Manasahu cheering for the Indian shooters. Rajinder Das. Such is the passion for shooting in India. Fans up early in the morning to catch up with the performance of these two amazing shooters from India, Manu Bhakar mm -hmm. and Yashaswari Singh Deswal. Iran's Rostamian still in the lead with five consecutive tens, followed by Germany's Monica at the same score. Manu Bhakar currently at number 18 after the first five shots. With every shot, the rankings are bound to change. This is very early 
in the qualification Sylvia Steiner of Austria at number 33 looks like a shaky start for Sylvia Steiner of Austria German shooter Karina Wimmer at 34 Yashaswini Singh Deswal at 42 Hungary's Veronica Major at 40 these are the rankings of some of the popular shooters in this field of 57 shooters in the women's 10 meter air pistol qualification on day two of shooting at Tokyo Olympics this is going to be a very interesting qualification match with two of India's biggest shooting stars Manu Bhakar and Yashaswini Singh Teswal Yashaswini out of the first five shots registers 46 points at the number 42 position not a very good start for Yashaswini Manu Bhakar moves up now at number 8 with 68 in her first 7 shots 68 points in the first 7 shots for the world number 2 of India Manu Bhakar Tapanjit cheering for India. So does Arman Brar. Wishing good luck. Good to see so many shooting fans from India watching this match early in the morning. Manu Bhakar and Yashaswini Singh Deswal up against some of the best in the business from around the world in the women's 10 meter air pistol qualification at Tokyo Olympics. Chinese shooter in the lead, China's Raksin Ziang, 50 out of 50 at the number one position. French shooter Le Molle registers a 99 in a first series. Monica Karsh of Germany shoots a 98 in a first series. Manu Bakar moving up with 78 points after the first eight shots is at the fifth position now Manu Bakar climbs up with some good shooting in the first series Welcome Tapanjit, those are kind words. We all are very excited for this Olympics happening after five years. So it's very important to do all streams at whatever hour it's possible. 
A lot of cheering on for the two Indian shooters. Thank you, Pradeep. Satyam Chohan wishes good luck to Manu and Deswal. Chinese shooter Xiang Raxin at the number one position. She's only shot six shots in her first series. Manu Bakar now at number three shoots a 98 in her first series. That's a good opening series for Manu Bakar, who's at moved up to number three, the world number two. Manu Bhakar, she is only 19 years old, has won 17 gold medals, 4 silver and 2 bronze in various ISSF competitions, is the Youth Olympic Games champion. She won a World Cup final gold at Pushian in 2019, has won silver medals at the Delhi World Cup in 2021, and golds at the Junior ISSA World Cup at Seoul in Sydney in 2018. A very impressive resume for the world number two, 19 year old shooter from India who's at the number three position. After registering that fantastic 98 in a first series I request those watching this live on our Facebook and YouTube channel, please share this. Manu Bhakar of India is at the number three position and the country needs to wake up to cheer for her. Please share this on those who are watching this live on the Facebook page of Indian Shooting. Manu Bakar starts with a 9 in her second series, slips down by 2 spots, is at number 5 now. Chinese shooters Yang Raksin still in the lead with 79 points after her first 8 shots. Latvia's Rasmane Agde registers a 98 in her first series and then 2 consecutive 10s in her second series. Monica Kash of Germany shoots 98 in a first series, a 10 and a 9 in the next series. Manubaka moves up with a 10 in the second shot of her second series. Once again, Manubakar of India at number 3. Another top shooter from Bulgaria. From Belarus, Victoria Chaika starts with a 96 and a 9 and a 10 in the second series. The second Chinese shooter's Lin slips down, had a shaky start with a 94 in the first series. Five shots done in her second series, shoots 48 out of 50, is at number 21. Yasha Suni Singh Deswal, not a good start, registers 94 in her first series. Just to explain some of the viewers who are not from the shooting background, this is a 10-meter air pistol women's qualification match 
every shooter has to shoot a 60 shot qualification out of which the best eight move to the finals these shooters shooting at a distance of 10 meter using air pistols for the indian viewers two of the best from the country in fact the best in the world world number one yashasuni singh deswal and world number two manu bhakar in action up against some of the other shooting stars from around the world manu bhakar maintaining her third position Still in a second series. Agate Rasmin of Latvia, who started with a 98, just like Manu Bhakar, now shoots uh, 58 points in her first six shots of her second series. Manu Bakar at number five. Three nines for her in the first five shots of second series. Let's have a look at her compatriot. Yashaswini Singh Deswal, the world number one, who had a shaky start. with a 94 Yasha Swini Singh Deswal also has a very very impressive resume she's ranked number one she is 24 years old has won four gold medals three silver two bronze in various ICSF competitions including a junior gold at the world championships at Seoul in 2017 a silver, a junior silver at 2006 in 2016, silver at the Asian Championships. And most recently, the ISSF World Cup gold at Rio in 2019 and the ISSF Delhi World Cup held earlier this year in March. A very strong shooter, capable of bouncing back any time in this match. And while we were talking about Yashaswini Singh Deswal, let's have a quick look at Manu Bakar, who slipped down to number nine after the first six shots of the second series. Manu started with a 98 in her first series can she hit 
the remaining shots on 10 and finish the second series with a 96. Let's have a look at the leaders. French shooter Lemoli moves up to number one. She had started with a 99 in a second series. She registered a 95. And now the first two shots of the third series are both 10. In the second position, we have China's Raksin Ziang, who started with a 97, now 29 out of 30 in the second series. Once again, we see a change in the top three French shooters. Still at number one, but now the new number two is from Mongolia, Anuadri Anudari, who started with the 96 and looks like she's going to end up with another high second series, maybe a 98 or a 97. At number three, we have Latvia's Agate Rasmani. Started with a 98. Two more shots for her to go in the second series. Serbian shooter. Zorana Arunovic at number three. The reigning Olympic champion, Anna Kurakaki of Greece, starts with a 97, is at number four. Manu Bakar slipping down to number 13. Still in a second series. Reasonably well, Manu Bhakar just needs to keep doing what she does best. And she will definitely make it to the finals. A long way to go still. She's still in a second series. Remember, it's a 60-shot qualification match. So basically, six series of 10 shots each. Germany's Karina Wimmer, who started with a 95, now shoots a 94 in a second series. Sylvia Steiner of Austria, once again shaky in a second series, started with a 93, now a 94. Yashaswini Singh Deswal of India at number 28. She's also in her second series. Four shots done in the second series. Registers 38 out of a ma maximum possible 40 shots in the first four shots of second series. American shooter Alexis Lagan who was very recently seen in the last edition of the IOSC, started with a 95, doing well in her second series. Let's see if she can move up a couple of places after her second series. Hungary's Veronica Major, a poor start for the world record holder in sports pistol. She'd won a double gold at the ISSF World Cup at New Delhi in 2019. A very poor start for her with 92 in her opening series.
still a long way to go. You will see a lot of fluctuation in the rankings of all these shooters. Manu Bakar at number 12. Four more shots for her to go in the second series. Can she shoot a 96 in the second series? She needs to hit all four shots from 10 in, in order to register a 96. Zorana looks strong. Started with a 96, then a 97. First three shots in a third series, all being a 10. Has taken the first place at the second position now is Cuban shooter Lina Paris, who started with a 96 and shoots three consecutive tens in a second series. Anna Korakaki at number four. Anna Korakaki of Greece. Currently ranked number four in the world. She is the reigning Olympic champion. Had won a gold at Rio in 2016 in women's 10 meter air pistol. Oh, I beg your pardon. She had won a gold in 25 meter pistol and a bronze in 10 meter air pistol at Rio. So she'd won two medals at the last Olympics. A very strong shooter. She's also won gold at the World Cup final in 2016. She's won a gold at the World Cup in 2018, silver in 2016, and three bronze medals at World Cups in 2019, 18, and 17. A highly decorated shooter, the reigning Olympic champion, Anna Korakaki of Greece. lot of shooting fans from India watching this live on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. It's 6 a.m. in India. Good morning to everyone watching this from India. And uh, my friend from the shooting fraternity and a former international shooter, Sonia Rai. Good morning, Sonia. Sonia Rai herself a very, has been a very, very strong 
pistol shooter. And now is also into coaching. I see another former shooter from India, Seema Gaur, watching this. Seema, where are you watching this from? Manu Bhakar at number eight. Yashaswini Singh Deswal not looking in her best of forms. Shot a lot of nines. In fact, also an eight. Let's see if, he, if she can bounce back strongly with some high series and climb up the charts Shooting fans watching this from around the world, from different time zones.
Manu Bhakar at number six now. Looks like she took a small break in her second series. Can she hit the last shot of a second series on a 10 and make it 95? About 578. That's my opinion. 578 would be a would would be a safe score to enter the finals. Or maybe a 580. Chinese shooter. Ziang Raksin, who started with a 97 and 97 in a second series, and now 58 points after the first six shots in a third series, is leading the chart. Reigning Olympic champion in 25 meter, Anna Korakaki of Greece, now at number two. She'd won a bronze in the same event at the last Olympics. Anna Kurakaki of Greece, who's ranked number four in the world. Shoots a 96 in a third series. And the first three shots on 10 in a fourth series, Anna Kurakaki in control is at number three. Victoria Chaika of Belarus, also very consistent with those three consecutive 96 in the first three series. Now, the first three shots on 10 in the fourth series. And with that 99 by Russia's Vitalina, she takes the number two position after her fourth series. Let's have a look at Manu Bakar. Yes, Manu Bakar did shoot that shot on 10 and registered a 95 in a second series. She's now in her third series. Still a long way to go for all these shooters. There will be a lot of change in the rankings as the match proceeds. Manu Bakar moves up to number seven. Yashasani Singh Deswal came back strongly in, in the second series with a 98, but once again a little shaky in the third series, could only manage 94, slips down to 19. Austria Sylvia Steiner. Had a shaky start, 93-94, but has been consistent after the second series. She registered a 96 in a third, a 97 on a fourth, and 95 on the fifth. Needs to register a very high series in her last sixth series in order to be in with a chance to make it to the top eight.
things don't look good for Hungary's Veronica Major, who had a very, very shaky start with a 92. And then a 90 in her second series. Looks really bad for her. Remember, she had won double gold at the ISSF World Cup at New Delhi in 2019. She's a world record holder in women's 25-meter pistol. But clearly not in form today in the women's 10-meter air pistol qualification. American shooter Alexis Slagan also struggling. Started with a 95, a very, very shaky 90, then a 91. Is currently at number 48 out of 53 shooters in action in the women's 10 meter air pistol qualification. Germany's Karina Wimmer. Who's done very well lately at the competitions held at OSIEC, at the European Championships, and the ISIS of World Cup is at number 24 position. She started with a 95, 94, 93, and 97. Sylvia Steiner with her first four shots on 10 in her last series is. Moving up, another 10 for Sylvia Steiner. Is it too late? Had a very poor start. 93-94. Did reasonably well from the third series onwards. Registered a 96 and a 97 in her third and a fourth series. 95 on her fifth series. Now... First six shots on 10 in the last series for Sylvia Steiner of Austria. Yashaswini Singh Deswal at number 19 is in her fourth series. Manu Bhakar at number 12. One more shot for her to go to finish the third set of 10 shots. Can shoot a maximum 95 in her third series. A lot of Expectations from the world number two, Manu Bhakar of India. She's been in great form ever since she exploded on the international stage. She's a Youth Olympic Games champion. She's won a gold at the ISIS World Cup final. Gold at Junior World Cups. Yashaswini Singh Deswal for the very first time moves ahead of Manu Bhakar. Manu Bhakar slipping down to number 17 with a poor 94 in her third set of 10 shots. Seema, I'm all good. Just catching up with all the shooting action from Tokyo Olympics. And I hope uh, you keep tuning in and keep watching all the live action we bring to you from Tokyo Olympics.
Armenia's Elmira Kraptian, a very popular face in the IOSC competition, started with a 94, registered a 98 in a second series, then a 95 is at number 16. Yashasuni Singh Deswal moves up to number 11. Can she shoot a 99 in a fourth series? Three more tens and it can be a 99. That will do a lot of good to the current world number one. Yashasuni Singh Deswal of India. As I said before, still a long way to go. Most of the shooters in their fourth series, you will see a lot of fluctuation in the top 10. Anna Kurakaki of Greece, the air pistol bronze medalist from Rio Olympics is at number one now. She had registered 99 in a fourth series and now is just four shots away to complete her fifth and the second last series occupying the number one spot at the moment. Russia's Vitalina at number two, China Xian Raksin at number three, the second Chinese shooter coming back very strongly with a 99 in her fourth set of 10 shots is at number four. Mongolia's Anudari at number five. Victoria Chaika of Belarus at number six. Selena Goberwell of France at number seven. Rostamian of Iran at number eight. Manu Bakar moves up with those two consecutive tens in her fourth set of ten shots. Yesha Suni Singh Deswal at number 15. Elmira Karaptian of Armenia, who was seen last in action at the IOSC, held a few days back is at number 12. Tapanjit, getting really concerned for Manu, says she has only 20 minutes left for 30 shots. Thank you, Seema. Manu Bakar at 12, Yashaswini Singh Deswal at 13. Can the two Indians enter the final for top eight. Need to shoot at least 97 in their last two attempts in order in the last two series 
in order to be in with a good chance to make it to the top eight. Manu Bhakar still in her fourth series while most of the other shooters are in their fifth now. The two American shooters, Sandra and Alexis, still struggling at number 46 and 47. Alexis Lagan was also seen at the last edition of the IOSC, held a few days back. Talking of IOSC, Yashaswini Singh Deswal has also made good use of the International Online Shooting Championships organized by IndianShooting.com. Last year, she had won three gold medals at various editions of IOSC. Is at number 18. Manu Bhakar at number 14. Let's have a look at the top three. Anna Kurakaki of Greece with that 99 and 98 in her last two series, in, in, her, in her fourth and the fifth series, is at number two now. And Russia's Vitalina moves up. At number three is China's Yang Raksin, the second Chinese. At number fourth, Lin. Victoria Chaika of Belarus. At number five, French shooters, Celine Goberville. At number six, Anudari of Mongolia. At number seven, the second French shooter, Lemole. At number eight, as we keep talking, the ranks keep changing with every shot. Yashaswini Singh Deswal at number fourteen. Manu Bhakar at number 17. Sylvia Steiner already finished her match, registers 573. Sylvia Steiner of Austria will not make it to the finals unlikely to make it to the finals with a score of 573 currently at the 19th position she'd won a gold at the last edition of iosc good to see so many shooters who had competed at various editions of iosc in action at tokyo olympics Manu Bhakar at 15, Yashaswini Singh Deswal at 17. Manu still in her fourth series. Probably Manu is the only shooter in her fourth series. She really needs to shoot fast. And catch up with others. There I see another shooter in her fourth series. Hala of Egypt. While rest others are in their fifth.
Russian shooter Vitalina looks strong at number one. Two more shots for her to go. She'll definitely end up above 582. Can shoot a maximum 584 if she hits the next two shots on 10. Fantastic score. Till now for the Russian shooter, Vitalina, who's currently at number one. Thank you, Jatin. If anybody wants to have a quick chat with me, here is the number you can call on. You will need to make a WhatsApp call. We'll take the call live in the stream. Maybe some of the shooting experts can have a chat with me and Help me understand the situation better. China Ziang Raksin now at number one. Anna Kurakaki moves down to number two. Vitalina shoots 582. Vitalina of Russia already through with her match, has registered 582 at the third position now. The second Chinese shooter, Lin, at number four. Yashasuni Singh Deswal at number 12, Manu Parker at number 13. Yashasuni Singh Deswal and Manu both have a very real chance to make it to the top eight. Yashasuni starts her last and final series with a 10. And there you see some 
cheering by none other than India's Olympic silver medalist Vijay Kumar Sharma, who's cheering for the two girls, Manu Bhakar and Yashaswini Singh Deswal. Vijay had won an Olympic silver at London 2012 Olympics in the men's 25 meter rapid fire pistol. Thanks, Vijay, for watching this live on our Facebook page. Very happy to see some of the Olympic medalists watching our stream live and cheering for the Indian shooters. Thank you to Aimpoint Shooting Academy. That's some insight from the Olympic silver medalist. Vijay Kumar says they just when he has to shoot all tens now in a rest of her nine shots in order to make it to the finals. Vijay, the Olympic silver medalist in men's 25 meter rapid fire at London 2012, watching this live on our Facebook page. Yashaswini shoots another 10 in the 6th series. Manu Bakar through with her 5th series. Registers 98 is at number 11. Very, very important for both Manu and Yashaswini to register a high, to end with a high series in order to make it to the top eight. Both these girls are capable of registering some really high scores. The world number one and world number two from India. The world number one, Yashaswini Singh Deswal, currently at number 12. And the world number two at number 10 now. Manu Bakar starts with a 10 in her last series. Anna Korakaki of Greece, who had won the bronze at Rio in the same event and a gold in the 25-meter pistol, has registered the highest till now, 585. The world number four from Greece, Anna Korakaki. Brilliant performance for her. Great score, 585. So two of these, Anna Korakaki of Greece and Vitalina of Russia with 582 will surely be in the finals. Let's see who the other six will be. China's Zian Raksin looks extremely strong in her last series, just three shots away. If she shoots her last three shots on 10, it will cross Anna Korakaki's score. Five, five, 587 would be her score if she can shoot the next two shots, the last two shots for her. China Ziang, very, very impressive performance by her. Manu Bhakar at number 10. 
shoots 1-9 in her last set of 10 shots. Yashasunin Singh Das Deswal at number 13. She too shoots a 9 in her last set of 10 shots. They can't afford of some more nines. Maybe another one, but not more than that. In order to assure themselves a spot in the top eight. Manu Bhakar at number nine. Five more shots for her to go. Can she shoot her last five shots on 10 and make it to the top eight? If Manu shoots her last five shots on 10, it will be 579. Well, Seema, this match started at 5.30. So, maybe uh, four more minutes, if I'm not wrong. It started at 5.30 a.m. India time. So right now it's 6.41 a.m. So if I'm not wrong, maybe four more minutes to go. Thank you, Vijay Bhai. And I'm so happy you are up early in the morning to witness this great match with two of India's best shooters, Manu and Yashaswini. Zian Raksin of China, number 17 in the world. She's won two gold medals, two silver, one bronze at various ISSF competitions. The Asian champion. She won a gold at Kuwait in 2018. Silver at the ISSF World Cup in the mixed team event in 2019. Twenty-one year old Ziang Raksin of China, who's currently at the number one spot, shoots a perfect hundred to end her match with 587. That's the highest score till now in the women's 10 meter air pistol qualification. Ziang Raksin. Fantastic performance by her. What a great way to finish her qualification match with that perfect 100. At number two is Anna Kurokaki of Greece with 585. Vitalina of Russia with 582 is on number three. China's Lin shoots 579. Is that French shooter? Lemol is with 578 is at number 5. We have another shooter at 578. From Bulgaria. And then at 577 we have at the number 7th position. We have Ukraine's Olina on 577.
Manu Bhakar shoots 575 is at number 12. She will not make it to the final, which is most likely to close at 577. What a narrow miss for Manu Bhakar. She shot a 95 in her last attempt. And Yashaswini Singh Deswal, 574, will also not make it to the final. Both Indian shooters will not go to the finals. They're at number 12 and number 13. There you have the top eight. At the top position with the highest qualification score is China Zian Raksin. She shot 587 to make a new qualification Olympic record. At number two is Anna Kurakaki of Greece with 585. At number three is Vitalina of Russia with 582. The second Chinese also threw to the finals, Lin with a score of 579. At number 5 is French shooter Lemol with a score of 578. At number 6 is Bulgaria's Costa de Nova with 578. Ukraine's Olina also makes it to the final with a score of 577. And the last shooter, the 8th place, French shooter Celine Goberel with a score of 577. And 5th in her tens has also made it to the top eight. Unfortunately, the two Indian shooting stars, Manu Bhakar, Yashaswari Singh Deswal, unable to go through to the final for top eight. That's some disappointment for the Indian fans watching this live. A lot of shooting fans from India cheering for Manu Bhakar and Yashaswini Singh Deswal. Highly disappointed as none of the two enter the final. That's it from us. Thank you for watching. Please come back and watch the final of women's 10 meter air pistol. We will just share the time of the final with you. The finals of women's 10 meter air pistol will start at 7 45 a.m. India time. That's the final comment by the Olympic silver medalist Vijay Kumar who was watching this live on our Facebook page. Vijay knows what it takes to win an Olympic medal. He'd won a silver at the 2012 London Olympics in men's 25-meter rapid fire. In his very first attempt at the Olympics, maybe someday he can give some good advice to these youngsters. So see you again at... 7.45 a.m. for the women's 10-meter air pistol final. It's going to be a busy day. Uh, there will also be, a, join us again at 9.30 a.m. for the 10-meter air rifle men qualification. And the final at 12 for the same event. But before that, at 7.45 a.m., do join us for the finals of women's 10-meter air pistol. Till then, goodbye.